Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with me one more time. I am your host, Brian. You are on the Brian T. Murray YouTube channel. It's time for another Kingdom Prosperity session. Uh, we're in Exodus chapter 9. Uh, it will be uh, another short one. Um, yeah, I, I, as I as I expressed last time, it, it's no need for us to go through the, the the plagues, but 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 it's more so for us that, that we bring out the uh, the the economic and, and prosperous elements of these chapters. So, uh, so the title to this one is Exodus chapter chapter nine. Uh, my name my name may be declared throughout all the earth. My name may be declared throughout all the earth. Yeah, so. Uh, very short verse, uh, very short lesson today. We won't we won't be here all, all day by no means. But uh, first, you know, the first thing we do, we we start out with prayer. So let, let's get into that now. God, we thank you, Abba Father. We, we we thank you, Lord. We thank you for for this opportunity to, to come unto you and, and to uh, learn learn of ourselves through your Holy Word. And as we learn ourselves, we we get a better understanding of you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness, Lord. We're, we're, we're asking you to touch our minds, to, to touch our hearts, Lord, for us to see your holy scriptures for, for what uh, they are, Lord, because, because we understand how we think controls what we see and what we don't see, Father. Father, we want to be pure in our searching. We want to be pure in, in, in our understanding, Lord, and we ask you to help us with that, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, my name may be declared throughout all the earth. Starting in verse 1 in Exodus 9. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. And if I refuse to let them go and will hold them still, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thy cattle, which is in the field upon the horses and upon the asses, uh, upon the camels, upon uh, the oxen, upon the, sh upon the sheep, and there shall be a very grievous moraine. And, and the Lord, I, actually, let's, let's, let's look up what a moraine is. I, 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 meant, I meant to do this earlier, but I was so busy getting into the word. Let's look up moraine. Rain definition. I'm sorry, marine, mirin, mirin, an infectious disease, especially affecting cattle uh, and, and other animals. Okay, mirin. It's not marine. It is mirin. Okay, and very grievous mirin. <sighs> So, as God said what Pharaoh, how Pharaoh would go about this and what he, he would do concerning this, and how he, he, he would get more heartened at the situation because Pharaoh totally sees the children of Israel as slaves. They see them as, not even as people, see them as a commodity. He's like... I need my resources to get back to work so they can work my resources. That's what I need. So God tells Moses how it was going to happen before it happens. Amen. And if I refuse, in verse 2, if I refuse to let them go and will hold them. See, God is, God is not about taking He's, he's about letting Pharaoh know that I'm the greater king. You got to submit to me and to my wills. And you got to do it willingly. Behold, the hand, verse 3, Behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thy cattle, which is in the field, upon the horses, upon the asses, upon the, the camels, upon the oxen, and upon the uh, sheep. And, and, and there shall be a very grievous uh, mirroring. So as I'm reading this, I'm thinking, yeah, 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 all this cattle, God is attacking their economics. 
when I dived in deeper, it wasn't so much it is, but it's not totally the fact of their economics. These are some of these animals of, of these cattle mentioned, they are sacred beings to, to the Egyptians. So when when Jesus going when 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 God is going to put his hand on their uh, cattle, he's also putting their hands on their superstitions. Because they hold some of these animals in high regard. It's like their own idols. So they serve in twofold. Uh, tools of, of the economy and two idols. God is saying, I'm I, I'm going to bring a very grievous uh, uh, murmur on, on all of them. And verse four, and the Lord shall sever between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt. And there shall nothing die of all that is of the children of Israel. And the Lord appointed a set time saying, tomorrow the Lord shall do this thing in the land. And the Lord did that thing on the morrow and all the cattle of Egypt died. But of the cattle of the children of Israel died not one. And Pharaoh said, And behold, there shall be not one of the cattle of the Israelites dead. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened and did not let the people go. Amen. This this is what this is. Uh, again, going back to, to that, that uh, leverage, it, it's like... Uh, yeah, you you really think I can't control this? <laughs> I have drawn an invisible line. Everybody on this side, the, the Egyptians are dealing with with this. All the folks in Goshen, my people, they're not dealing with any of this. Amen, amen. And verse sixteen, and this very deed for this cause have I raised thee up, for to show in thee my power. That my name may be declared throughout all the earth. This we're still talking about this. We're still talking about this. I mean, this is amazing. This was a massive success. Why? Because here I am in 2021 making a video about this. This is amazing. See, the most important thing to a king is his rep reputation. So God is out dueling, dueling uh, Pharaoh, letting him, him know this is not about you. I'm greater than, than you because you will not submit. I'm going to tear your kingdom down even more. And in closing, and the flax and the barley was smitten because at this time, this is about the time, uh, January, February, March, that flax and barley is is ripening for for the barley what, what was in the ear and, and, and the flax what what was a uh, bold but the wheat and the rye were smitten not for 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 they were, were not grown up so God is afflicting the people the cattle and their crops because of Pharaoh's decision to to, to get even tougher with with a God. The Bible says that God hardened Pharaoh's heart, but all it means is he, he amplified it. Pharaoh on his own free will has no intention on relenting to, to God. And God was like, that's what I need. That's what I need because I'm gonna make an example out of you that we would never forget. And that's what has happened as God said and for this cause I have I have brought these uh, brought you into this and, and to work this power through you we're, we're referring to, to, to Moses in, in, in this situation but that is about it that is about it uh, again it, it was no point to go through line by line upon the the uh, plagues and, and all it's like no let, let, let's just bring out what is it important? God has used this example to make his name great out through all the, the earth. There is no internet, there is, there is no media, there is no news. But this 
is documented in our holy scriptures and it's like man this is really cool this is really cool this this makes you want to get on God's side see we live in, 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 in a country in most of our countries where you know we're 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 we're, we're good we're good it's it's like well not every country is good You have people who are drawing near to uh, to God for basic necessities. We have some countries who are not. I don't want to get in a bad situation to realize, ooh, I really need God. No. I need God when things are good. I need God when things are bad. I need God when, when things... I need God in every situation. Amen. Amen. So... So this is my investment in, you know, prayer, fasting, uh, uh, preparing for the, these uh, videos to learn more about, about myself, to learn more about him is because, yeah, I, it's no, I, I just really, I just really enjoy God. I just really like the way he thinks. I just do. <laughs> I just do. I just do. He is one of the few entities that really makes sense in this world to me. I just do. So let's let, let's end this in prayer. Father, I thank you, Lord. I bless you. I'm so grateful, Lord, to be called your son. And we thank you for all your sons and, and, and all your, your, your daughters. And we thank you for our eldest son, Jesus, Lord, the one who paid the price that we may have the opportunity. To, to be close to you, to get right with, with you, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. God bless. I'll see you in, in, in a little bit. All right. Bye.